why you don't feel motivated well there are two reasons why you might not feel motivated one because you don't have a vision that's big enough or number two you're scared you know I have so many people clients that I work with um, folks that come up to me after the event who tell me you know I know we have to do these things I know what I have to do um, but I'm just not motivated or even a team and you say you know what we know what we have to do for our community we know what we have to do for them and say but we just don't feel motivated people are just not motivated enough so even at an individual level or as a group of people motivation has two factors one either your vision that you have is not big enough or two you are scared as a group you think you cannot make it or the journey will be too long there is this uh, very uh, famous story about a woman uh, she lost her job uh, she she had a failed marriage and she you know became addicted uh, she was visiting Egypt um, and you know she took some time off she was staying there uh, she came to a point in her life that she wanted to commit suicide and in that moment she decided that she wanted to trek across the desert right her life was going to complete you know nuts and, and things are just falling apart and she decided to have this vision have this goal this ambition that she's gonna trek across the desert right and so for nine months she trained she said no it's gonna be a long journey I have to be physically ready mentally ready uh, and so she you know made the training uh, she she that really changed her whole life this big vision that she held for herself that I'm going to trek across the desert I'm gonna do this really adventurous crazy thing that just changed her life so if you want to be motivated and you feel like I'm just I don't know I just, I just don't feel it and I'm not motivated what I'm telling you do these two things number one build a vision that scares you build a vision that's so big that it propels you and so you know go outside you know go into the nature the place that inspires you and then think about what is it that your goal is for the next five years next ten years and then I want you to 5x that 10x that meaning make it bigger so if your team, uh, you know, at the MSA, at the masjid, if your team at an organization that you're part of, at a company that you're part of, and it's not, they're not moving, maybe one of the things you can do is, you know what, set an even a higher bar. You might say, that's crazy. Because they're not, as is, they're not doing it. Why would we make it even more crazier? Well, I'm telling you, if you want them to get motivated, if you yourself want to be way more motivated, I'm telling you, expand your vision make it even more crazier maybe it can make it even more bigger all right that's number one and then perhaps you're scared so what do you do if you're scared meaning that you know you feel i'm not gonna make it or that journey will be too long well this is what you do all right you analyze okay why am i scared what's really scaring me what's what's beneath my fear that i'm not gonna be able to make this vision or i'm not good enough i'm not talented enough our team isn't big enough we don't have enough money for it we don't have the research last time we failed what are those doubts and beliefs that you have that's scaring you that's holding you back and so analyze them what are the pros what are the cons what is the worst case scenario and what's the best case scenario and in the worst case scenario what could we do if we really wanted to that we can change that we can make an impact so analyze that look into that so once you do that then you're able to propel and move forward you know if you really think about it as a Muslim we are propelling forward with such a big vision you know what that big vision is Jannah if you really think about it you know Jannah could have been just you know nice but it's not just nice it's amazing it's I mean the, the goal of Jannah it's so huge I mean the pleasures of Jannah are so amazing I mean, you, you think about it, Allah gave us a vision that's overpowering, the over, you know, that just overwhelms us. And so we are propelled forward, that we are so motivated, so we look forward to it, we work hard, we are patient, uh, you know, we, when we feel our desires taking us over, we fight it. That's because the vision is humongous, the vision is empowering. If your goals that you have in life, whether it be for your career, for your body, uh, for your uh, relationship, or as a team, the goal that you have for next year, uh, for your masjid, for your MSA, is not scaring you enough, is not big enough, I'm telling you that's why you're demotivated. That's why you don't find the energy for it. That's why your team just barely gets to the meeting. I'm telling you, build even a bolder vision. Make it even a bigger vision. Once you do that, you'll be propelled forward. Now, I do want to tell you about two things that might impact you, especially as a person. If you are feeling demotivated one is possible that you are dealing with negative people in your life 
So it's possible that you have a lot of negative people that sort of, you know, discourages you. So you got to be very careful about that. What is your ecology that's around you? Right? So people that constantly tell you, nah, I don't think it's possible. Oh, you, I've seen you before. Yeah, I don't think so. And, and, and you start to, those beliefs, those ideas start to seep into your system. So that might be the reason why you're feeling demotivated because people told you that you can't really do it. People told you that you know, you're not good enough for it. Or maybe you know, the community told you that your group, your team, your, you know what, it's not possible. Maybe other MSAs told you that nobody does this in college level. That's not what we do. And so you don't believe it. And so you have to think about who are around you, who is, you know, telling you now, of course, you want good caution, good, you know, people that gives, shows you the negative possibilities. You need to be able to be careful, right? You need to be able to have all the options on the table. But if you have people, too many, who are always giving you negatives, who are always telling you it's not possible, you can't do it, you have to realize that no matter how strong you are, that stuff, that garbage is getting into your system. And so you got to be that much more careful about it. Right. Um, and, and, and that's so true, even even at a religious level. So you are someone who, who knows is someone who is not practicing or dealing with someone a, a, who's not practicing. That person has people around them that tells them, you know, what? Nah, it's not possible. You can't be that religious. Uh, the, uh, those people, they do what they do. And so they start to believe that. Right. So it goes for a team, goes for individual, goes for your career, your business, whatever area of your life you know, your people that are around you might impact you. So negative people, they might be the reason why you are not motivated. So change that. Now, I'm not saying get rid of your family and friends. What I'm saying though, hear a little more. So go online, audio books, um, to, you know, podcast, whatever it is to feed more positive <laughs> into your mind on a daily basis. You know, watch out what you're eating, right? Literally feeding your mind. And then also it's possible that you're dealing with mental illness or addiction. That's also the reason why you might uh, be dealing with, you know, lack of motivation. And this, especially at the individual level, even if you're a leader, you are a president, you are a vice president, you are running a activist organization, whatever it is, that a lot of folks, doesn't matter you are a leader, you are, you know, well known or you're very involved, or you're just somebody who just working on their career or their school. I'm telling you, it's possible that you're dealing with mental illness or you're dealing with addiction. So mental illness, for example, depression. Right? You see, you're biologically, you don't feel as motivated. It's not because the goal isn't good enough. It's not because you're scared. Biologically, you're not feeling well. Right? So you got to work on that. And then anxiety, you might get too worried and, you know, setbacks and you feel like, oh, I don't know. And that worry is actually coming chemically from your, from your brain or, you know, because of the mental illness. And addiction is also another thing. If you have some kind of addiction that demotivates you, a lot of folks who are just addicted, whether they be addicted to in a substance, addicted to pornography, addicted to whatever it is, that impacts their motivation level. Because addiction, what it does is when it's substance, high, you know, potent substance like that, it kick in your dopamine level. And so in, internally you get this pleasure symptom. And what happens is afterwards, nothing else satisfies you. Because for example, something like, you know, uh, meth, you know, it kicks in your dopamine to such a high extent. And even not just meth, any other addiction, you go even lower end like pornography and you know, you know, whatever substance it is, whatever it is your, that, that's your addiction, whatever just Netflix binging, right? You're constantly watching so many shows, so many episodes, you're constantly after entertainment that kicks in your dopamine, makes you feel a little good. And once that feel good becomes your addiction, then nothing else satisfies you as much. Because nothing will kick in you, I'm giving an extreme example of, of, of meth, but nothing kicks in your you know, dopamine level like meth does. And so someone who does meth, in an extreme case, they will not feel motivated or anything else. That's like smoking weed, cannabis, right? Folks who just high all day, and especially young folks who are high all day, they can't get themselves to feel motivated about anything else in life because they're already satisfied inside. When your life becomes your high, when your vision, your mission becomes your high that drives you, that's when you will start to feel motivated. So those two factors can be an issue. So is your vision big enough, bold enough to excite you, to get you up in your bed, kick you in the back? And number two, are you scared and how are you going to manage that? How are you going to get rid of that? So this is why you might not be as motivated. Do something about it.